Well, going into the time machine, year was 1996. And as I was leaving Texas and going to Kansas, suddenly my uh, GMC truck wasn't working anymore and real quick had to get a new one. And that's what I got. It was a uh, 93 C1500 extended cab uh, Silverado. And that picture, that's me right when we bought it. There were plenty of YouTube channels with great modelers who have great production skills. This is not one of them. Welcome to Cables Creations. So looking around the internet, I couldn't find a kit that really matched mine that would have some extended cab long beds, but none that really looked like what I had, so I'm gonna be combining these two kits and kind of a kit bash to make a truck that looked uh, more like what I had. Well, so it looks like it's not gonna be quite as simple as I initially thought, but not necessarily too bad. So what I'm gonna do is uh, kind of divide both chassis and splice them together. So I've got it uh, where I've got the uh, chassis cut and currently using things to get it lined up nice and straight and the right length. Uh, underneath kind of see yeah there was a little bit of a gap but not that bad not sure if I'm even going to use putty or anything to uh, fill that gap but I'm starting to think you know use a little bit of uh, styrene in there just want to keep it uh, the right length and may put some more in there to uh, get it to be the right distance and worry about getting it straightened out a little later. Okay, here's another issue and I'm going to have a solution for it. If you notice on the bed that came uh, you know the shorter bed if you notice there's trim towards the bottom and on the cab that trim's not there so got a solution this was something i picked up from somebody else they never did anything this big with it but see that uh that trim there well what you do is you can tape some tin foil down then burnish it really well and uh, I put it on just the one part so that I don't have you know so hopefully won't be um, messing it up when I pull it off burnish it and then later fill the back side with super glue so this is something new for me and I'm gonna try it out here. So got it burnished down, at least that one burnished down and got uh, the super glue into it. So gonna let that dry. Also gonna do three or four of them just to you know, have multiple ones to pick from and Uh, also going to need to do you know a little bit of that uh, extended cab area so just going to let that do its thing for now 
So those are all the ones that I've uh, done so far. So I'm gonna let the super glue set up overnight and then tomorrow trim them and eventually you know, have a trim going that whole way on the underneath that uh, kind of divot area in the on the cab part. I've also done some more pinning and styrene into this area just to strengthen it up a bit more. Something else I hadn't really counted on was the uh, console. Yeah, uh, this kit drew blood. Taking the console out of this one and moving it into this one. Now, it's too bad that those weren't or that those were molded in instead of just being separate parts. Okay, got that other console out. And then also gonna need to take off some of that, some of this uh, for the seat placement guide uh, because the seats are a little bit different. So I'm going with the these these seats out of uh, the um, single cab kit because that's more like the kind of seats that were in mine. And that got a little piece of styrene on the back of the console to make it solid. Well, this is turning out to be a bit more involved than I originally thought it would be, but uh, I think like that's going to be about the last of the modifications I've talked about. So I did some uh, chiseling to get some of the seat locating things out because I'm using the seats from the 92 instead of the 96 because that's uh, the kind of seats I had. Got those two parts done. Also got part of the dash worked on and I discovered they do have some dash and radio decal so in a little while I'm gonna get this painted black also got something else I'm gonna do to simulate carpeting and velour seats so I've added some more support uh, before filing these backs down because this was in the single cab, uh, there was no back to the door, so I made my own and gonna have to file things down and feather it in. Also ended up uh, needing some more putty around the console. And since my truck had one of those uh, snap-in bed liners, put in some anti-slip texture. Um, and looks like may need to put a little bit more in on some areas and then also uh, knock some of it down with uh, sanding. Finally, big thing, I added that, that one piece looks a little off. And I got the trim added. Uh, may need to get that one straightened out or use a different piece on it. Okay, making progress. Well, I think I got a pretty good start on the uh, pickup. Uh, next time I, I'm home, I'm going to get some uh, sanding done on some of the modifications I've done and uh, start on some of the uh, body work in terms of uh, sanding and priming the next time I'm here. So till then, 
showing you mine to hopefully make you feel better about yours.